Rick, good to see you in person. Good to see you. Uh, so what are, if you're not looking at those names, who are yeah. you looking at? Looking at the next level down. Looking at the Pinterest, the snaps of the world. Why? And we Because the enterprise is getting weaker. So, you know, with all the cost cuts, enterprise sales cycles are elongating. P the CFOs are coming back and cutting costs. But the consumer remains strong. We're seeing, especially in travel, especially in advertising, those companies are continuing yeah. to perform, at least in the short term. I've, I've been given all the brouhaha around Twitter and threads and yes. what, or X and threads, whatever. I've been forced to look at ad data from some of these companies. Yes. Happy weekend. Um, <laughs> but I will say this. I saw some numbers on Snapchat where their ad, either their ad traffic or their ad revenue was up like 170%. People are I thought using Snap it. was like almost dead. No, they're they're still there. They're still there. They're capturing a lot of revenue. If you if you want to see you know all the Barbie ads, all the Oppenheimer ads, as movies are back, that's where you find people back to school. And those ads are working. And they're proving that those ads, whether they be direct response ads and search ads on Pinterest or more broad based on ads on Snap, they're working and folks are buying them. Yeah, and now that Twitter's private, we're just unless they choose to reveal information, yes. we're, we're not going to know exactly what's going on there. But you're also seeing ads come out of Twitter, right, for a million we think, different right? reasons. We think. Again, do we know that? We, he said that revenue's down, right? So yep. we know revenue's down. It's not like people are leaving the digital landscape. It could just be a lower quality advertiser, right? It's not yeah. General Motors. It could be some T-shirt company. And they're paying less. Correct. And they're paying less, and therefore you're cyclically going down. But where does General Motors go if they want to announce the new electric vehicle? They're going to other digital ad platforms, which is benefiting the Pinterest, the Snaps, even the Spotify. Is it really all Facebook? I mean, on it, Facebook and Instagram? It's, it's a lot of Facebook and Instagram. They can only absorb so much. And you can only get certain ROI there, which is why people are looking at that next level of, of place where you're going to get better direct response and better return on your investment. Is anybody advertising a newspaper anymore? I mean, I, I don't want to sound like a relic. When was the last like, time you bought a newspaper? Well, I, I, in my industry, I, I subscribe to, yes. a, to a lot of, of papers online. I actually do get hard magazines oh, at home. Okay. Yeah, because I realized I wasn't reading them on my iPad. Yeah. If Road and Track is sitting in front of me, You'll plus read. I fly a lot, so yeah, it's, it's, it's handy easier. on a plane. But you get my point. Like, is it just totally dead? Totally dead. Because the media is kind of important, right? Trust in media, the news. Yes. Well, you want to support now? them. And maybe whether how, are they, how are they going to survive? Well, they're moving to digital, right? New York Times has actually flourished in the digital age. But are they getting ads on the New York Times website, yes. or is it just subscription model? Both. Both. So they're they're constantly playing with what the ad load could be. How does that work? What does what are people willing to pay to subscribe? What are people willing to pay to subscribe without ads? If you think about where Spotify is, where you think about where Netflix is going, how do you use the mixed media model? But there's still some ads, and people are getting direct response in those ads, and it's propping up the media stocks. You always wonder what's what's the actual click through rate on any internet ad. I mean, I, you know, sometimes you do an accidental mouse click on yes. something because you hovered over it too long or it moves around getting a little bit off topic what yeah. is going to be the most if you had to pick one company's earnings this week the most important uh, i think probably two I, I would say hey what's going on in consumer and is that thesis i just told you going to play out you're looking at pinterest and you're saying hey are is the consumer still strong are the advertisers still strong are you still driving return on investment there because pinterest is pure consumer pure consumer so it's both consumption on the, on the user side as well as advertiser strength.